Hello, everyone. This is Michael Fair from FilmFestivalCircuit.com, and we're joined today to talk about the upcoming Atlanta After Dark Film Festival Winter 2024, which will be taking place at the Plaza Theater on February the 13th. So I hope to see you there. We, at this specific event, we feature films and screenplays that are intended for a mature audience. Not pure horror, but we have horror films. We have uh, um, horror comedy, we have dark science fiction, we have dark animation, we have dark fantasy, um, dark drama, we have uh, suspense. Anything that's pretty much made for adults, please do not bring your children. They will be traumatized if they come to this event. Um, the, but specifically, we created the event for this market. We created it for uh, filmmakers that are making more mature content um, and that's their target demographic, where it's some film festivals that are more mainstream or maybe looking for the more um, you know, family oriented you know, type of films and things like that. Sometimes, you know, stuff that's a little bit too, too mature, uh, doesn't get accepted. So we wanted to make sure that we had a forum for that type of content. We're joined today by Gabriel, who is a, um, his film, excuse me, screenplay is nominated for an award for the best horror short screenplay award, which is pretty awesome. And hopefully we'll be seeing this one on the screen in the future, but Gabriel, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much to Michael and all the judges who read my work. I'm uh, I'm so honored to be a part of the Atlanta After Dark Film Festival and so glad that the script resonated with you. Well, you did your thing, my man. I mean, the Georgia judges really, really enjoyed it. They really loved it and uh, gave you great marks, nominated you for an award. That's no mistake. Uh, you've really done very well. So kudos to your accomplishment. Thank you so much. So tell us, um, were you the sole writer on this thing? What's your role in this? um screenplay and and give us a little idea of the synopsis like what's it about totally yes i was the sole writer on this i am the screenwriter of feet of clay um it's an idea that i had about six years ago and has sat with me a long time and i've refined it and polished it and sat with the character of miss alda or laura um so feet of clay centers around this character we have miss alda who is you know, an elderly woman who lives as an obsessive, reclusive sculptor. And uh, I tell the story from two sides of her life. So when she's younger, her name is Lara, and she is in a clearly abusive relationship with husband Dale, who is putting pretty much every pressure on her to have his children, despite medical difficulties and a miscarriage. Um, so she she molds art to cope and she uses special clay that's been imported from the Fertile Crescent. It's believed to be imbued with life-giving properties. Dale, of course, dismisses her and doesn't buy into any of it. Um, so then we jump forward again and Dale shows up at her house to reclaim the property quite forcefully. And he comes face to face with uh, the family that Laura has been creating all this time. Mm. Wow. Interesting stuff. So what, what gave you this idea? What, what was the inspiration to create this screenplay? Yeah, so it's funny. The concept for the story, it honestly came to me in like that liminal space between like sleep and awakeness that um, where, where weird ideas start to formulate. And I, I was always fascinated with sculptures as a kid and how a sculptor is trying to bring something to life. And um, and, and the uncanny kind of relationship between sculptor and sculpture. And so I've sat with it over the years and I've, I've asked myself why and, and why Laura? And I've leaned into the importance, I think, of telling these kinds of stories that highlight the pressures that can be put on relationships and how that can divide people because it's unfortunately very real. You know, people get into abusive situations all the time. They're silenced and um domestic abuse is very very real um but i think most of all for me art has been very crucial to my life mm -hmm. and many people use art to deal with difficult things in their lives deal with pain and trauma and abuse and you know miss alda's art is taken to the extreme but many artists create in order to escape um or or answer an injustice and so i've worked in poetry and songwriting and of course screenwriting to cope with my own emotions and i've i've felt like an outsider for it and i've been made to feel like an outsider for it when in reality i'm just 
expressing my truth. Wow. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, you know, attending the film festival as a screenwriter, obviously there's an acknowledgement of awards and the presentation, but there's also networking opportunities. Is there anyone uh, you'd like to meet, any film industry contacts that you'd like to meet at the festival? Oh my gosh, absolutely. I'm always looking to network and make more connections. That's what it's all about, is bringing your voices together and jumping into projects um, with people. That is so incredibly exciting for me. So I'm excited about both newcomers and professionals that will be at this festival. Excited to watch other interviews and get to know the work that some of my you know, new friends uh, are gonna be talking about and that are being celebrated. Um, and I have a friend named Dennis Lee who um, would be able to tell you a little bit about how we've actually networked and developed this story of Feet of Clay and what our next steps look like for actually shooting the film um, so I'll be sure to keep you all updated on that as well, sort of looking into the future. All right. Well, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Just that was my next question. Uh, who wasn't able to make this interview today? Is there anyone else you'd like to thank for putting this uh, screenplay together and maybe being a part of its future? Yes. So absolutely huge thank you to my family, to my professors at NYU who have read this very screenplay and uh, and everyone who's taken the time to read it. And a huge thank you to the judges. I am so happy that my script resonated with them. And the scorecards were very, very helpful. Um, they definitely reaffirmed my impulse to actually write, to continue this story and expand Laura's story a little bit and really get to know her even better through this process mm -hmm. as I seek to bring this and develop this onto the screen. So a huge thank you to the judges. And uh, again, yeah, the comments were so insightful into the ways that I can make this the best story I can. So, so thank you. Good, that's great to hear. You know, we make the scorecard feature available for people who submit. Some people take advantage of it and they get a lot out of it. And um, it's one of those things where, hey, when, when I was submitting to films many, many years ago, submitting films to film festivals many years ago, you wait, you get that selected, not selected, and that's it. That's the whole experience and I always, I always felt a gap, you know, I always felt like there was something missing in a film festival circuit. And obviously we run a quite a few film festivals. We want filmmakers to get the full experience, at least learn something um, and get that insight. I think that's valuable. So thanks for taking advantage of that. I'm glad it's been helpful. Um, you're one of those screenwriters that's always revising, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, hey, you know, I'd love to see what this morphs into. So don't be a stranger. We'd love to see the newest version of your screenplay um, you so on the film festival circuit. So. Well, thank you, Gabriel. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we go? I'm just so excited to attend, to meet everyone, to celebrate our After Dark stories together and, you know, embark on this journey going forward. So thank you so much. For sure. You're very welcome. Have a good day.